In Texarkana, some students are learning that positive behavior can have some tasty rewards. NBC6's Jenna Jordan has that story. The way to motivate students may be through their stomachs. I love food, so this is going to make me want to be a good student too. Some students at North Heights Junior High School earning an edible award. We have our teachers and they nominate students from their team who serve as a role model to the rest of uh, the students. These seventh and eighth graders <laughs> getting a chance to sharpen their knowledge about future careers. What would be the best way to cut the onion with the grain or against the grain? With a cooking demonstration and lunch by local chef Jeff Loving. This is sort of my way of giving back, you know, as much as I can. Um, but, uh, you know, if I can inspire a couple of kids who maybe want to cook as a part-time job or a summer job, I'm good with that. The school focuses on teaching entrepreneurial leadership skills and uses a positive behavior intervention system. This is for the kids that's being respectful and setting, like, positive lives for the other children. We're trying to take a proactive approach and to motivate students to do right all the time. This is the first year for the special quarterly incentive luncheons, and so far it's been a success. Knowing that this is um, something they can work towards, it, it really has motivated them. We've seen an improvement in, in their behavior. A chance to share a meal and valuable lessons. Take chances. You know, you'll fall down, but you got to get back up. Something the school hopes will be a recipe for a student's success. Jenna Jordan, NBC6 News. School officials say they would like to expand the program to include parents and more students in the future.